it's our Mabrix, and we do have a progress. But yeah, let's get back to the initial stuff that I did in last few days. So first of all, let's start from the beginning. I had to rearrange all the train tracks and put the railway station right up here. Of course, I had to make some sacrifices right here uh, because uh, yeah, it was still too tall. So I managed to lower in a not that best way possible, but that fits, which is good. Then uh, the train station itself, uh, itself is the end of the track. And uh, this is uh, due to the limited space that I do have to go through this side. So unfortunately it is how it is, but yeah, let, let's live with that. So yeah, two trains are parked, the Horizon Express and the uh, high-speed uh, bullet train, how it was called back in the days. And then all the tracks were rearranged. Something broke off, but it's usual stuff. Anyhow, so tracks are now going in this way. So managed to kind of fix all the things. It went a lot of time into reconfiguring all the tracks and putting some uh, spare uh, trains in the uh, different directions, but uh, yeah, I managed. I spent uh, almost uh, two full days working on the train layout and figuring out how it will work. So yeah, that time was running really fast but we have quite good end result so we have the railway station right here we do have two base plates that are dedicated for the upcoming set that i should receive the bricklink studio uh, series one uh the train shed which will be coming uh, quite soon so this is the place for that set and yeah I added some primitive lightning and just to uh, a bit better see everything in the dark. And yeah, those long legs are helping really, really well at this point. Anyhow, I've started working on the wall and I've redone it already two times, but I, I think it is the current way that it will go. So. Uh, I made uh, some ground by laying two by two bricks uh, right here uh, in all of the perimeter and then started to work with the light bluish gray masonry bricks and here I've added some arches just to, to have not that plain look of the wall. Also, uh, somewhere you could see some uh, bricks with an uh, open stud, and uh, it is for the greenery that I'm aiming to add up in, in some of the parts of the wall. So, as you can see, we will get to that point, but yeah, from uh, the end of uh, the wall, it is kind of stuck, uh, just a few layers of bricks add it and I'm missing uh, light bluish gray masonry bricks. So what I did, I already ordered in the local uh, brick shop. So yeah, hopefully we'll get soon and we'll be able to continue. But anyhow, I do believe that this will really work and I really like how it is looking at the moment it is closing the gap and as you can see from this angle it looks okay it looks really good we do not see any train that is below and up here we will have the upper side of the city so yeah that that is something unusual and i'm really happy with end result and the last thing that i want to show you how i will be connecting the wall with the buildings so, in here, we will add additional two plates, 
and we will connect it together that the wall and the buildings would stay in touch and they will be quite sturdy so yeah everything is thought upon and i'm really glad that i've started this project i'm really happy to be again in the city and work in it let me know in the comments what do you think about this project about this wall about the train layout keeping in mind that this is the the full space that i have so yeah and yeah let's try to continue and we'll meet you again in the next video where hopefully the wall will be complete and i will be arranging the buildings up here on the new platform so again thank you for watching do not forget to press that subscribe button and meet you soon so goodbye guys